Hello, my friend. Today, I want to talk about how to deal with difficult people. Um, I want to give you the tools on how to overwrite your central nervous system to work with difficult people um, that are antagonistic. Um, they might be lying and they might be creating stories behind your back. And I will give you the tools. It requires some work, um, but that will make your mind bulletproof so that you can be around these people and it doesn't bother you anymore. And um, it is um, it will change your life. I have done the work and it's uh, remarkable how it works. You start to just observe people and you uh, create a compassion for them because you realize that um, there is a lot of pain and um, sadness and, and anger in uh, these people's heart. So one thing that you have to realize, perception is reality. The way we perceive the world, the way we perceive people is a reflection of ourself. Uh, it is not a representation of uh, the way the world really is or the way people really are. So that's very important to understand. So our body and mind takes in 11 million bits of information per second, and we just filter consciously out uh, 50, around 50 bits per second. So that has to do with our perception. It has to do with our focus, where we put our focus, uh, where we focus on expense. You know? So if you want to have more happiness, if you want to have more peace, um, you know, read books in these areas and it will actually increase or uh, expand in your life. Um, now, a lot to do when you experience somebody in a negative way or whatever they do. It is never what people do. Um, or the situation you're in. It is always your perception of the situation. So when you learn to step back and attach different meaning to a situation and look from a different angle, then it will create a different outcome or different perception and emotion within your body. Um, every emotion that you experience from whatever, you know, in the world, but also what other people or how other people interact with you. Let's say a very difficult person. You have to understand it's not the person um, that is creating the emotion within yourself. You are creating this emotion within yourself and that's determined by usually, yeah, your pre-programming childhood and uh, later on certain intense experiences. So if you want to uh, do the work, and uh, overcome um, being reactive to people that are certainly don't have your best interests in mind, um, then you have to realize that you're creating those emotions yourself and that your ego will resist the change. So the inner child, the, the way we experience um, you know, negative emotions in those uh, moments is protected basically by our ego that doesn't want us to heal the inner child. It was like, well, this is the, my right to hold on to this negative emotion. Well, but this person is doing this. How could this person say this? And that's your ego. So you have to decide. You can hold on to the pain and let your ego win or dissolve your ego and with that put a different meaning uh, to the situation. So let's say you have a boss, partner, whatever it might be that is um, antagonistic and is trying to poke you. And um, the one realize that it is the emotion that they are already experiencing in their body and in their body and mind uh, that they are projecting onto you or trying to project onto it because they cannot process it internally. So um, they have to project it on you because they don't have the tools. You know? That doesn't mean that <clears throat> it is a good thing to do, but it's just the way it is. Don't put attachment or meaning to it. Yeah? Um, when you realize that the way you perceive the world, the way you perceive people is a reflection of you, not of other people, that's where uh, the work starts, right? Why do I perceive the people this way? And where is that coming from? And uh, it's initially a little bit uncomfortable. You, like I said, your ego will resist it. But when you look into it, uh, then you have the ability to uh, override. 
Now, I give you the, the very effective tool. Let's say your boss is coming to you and, you know, uh, is unloading and yelling at you for no reason. And um, what you want to do is you want to take a step back. So you want to first focus on the emotion what that is created. Uh, you might be angry, sad, whatever emotion is coming up. How could this person do this? You just focus on the uh, um, sensation, uh, the emotion. Any sensation, excuse me, any emotion goes through our body within 90 seconds. So if, can, if you can focus just on the sensation without um, focusing on the narrative, then that emotion is already gone. Yeah? Become aware what is the trigger and what is the emotion. Just focus on the emotion in your body. Yeah? And um, if it's difficult, you can just breathe through it. Yeah? And then realize whatever is coming after that, the feelings that are extending in this situation, it is your narrative. It's learned uh, programming. So you have to realize that whatever their perception is, for them it's real. Whatever perception for you is real. But we have to become aware of the, how you perceive a situation. Just focus on the emotion itself. Yeah, what is the emotion? What do I do in my body? <clears throat> do I feel this emotion? Realize it just takes 90 seconds to sit with it present. And stop attaching meaning to it. That's your ego. It's like, how dare is that person? How blah, blah, blah. Uh, whatever is coming after that, you have to realize, you have to decide, do you want to extend the negative emotion and have with that have a negative um, effect on your body, on your mind, your stress levels, uh, your immune system, and so on? Or do you want to learn to let go of whatever uh, narrative was created early on in childhood? Uh, um, so just focus on the sensation and um, realize that when you do this, and um, you can do that with any negative situation uh, in your life, uh, you become aware of the sensation in your body, you become aware of the narrative, and you don't attach your identity to the narrative. So you just let go of it and um, you attach um, a positive meaning to um, the situation. You know, be become aware of that the people that are interacting with you, um, it's, that's, it's their perception, it will not change, and um, they experience a lot of negative energy, and um, it is what, what they are experiencing, you know? But the key is to realize that whatever they say has nothing to do with you. you know? It's me business, that's the only thing that you can uh, focus on what other people do or say, it's none of your business. Uh, because they will say things that are not, uh, not correct. But even if it's correct, it doesn't mean that you have to attach to that, to that feeling, to a negative feeling. Uh, you just start to observe and realize that any emotion is self-created. So if you experience shame, if you experience sadness, if you experience uh, anxiety, you're creating the emotion and it is your ego attaching to the narrative that you have created or that it was created uh, in your central nervous system years or decades ago. Yeah? So become aware of the sensation, just focus on the sensation and let go of the narrative. Yeah? I hope that you like this and um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care, my friend.